Today, we have a major update from the Pakistan Air Force regarding Pakistan's defense technology. A groundbreaking development has been officially revealed. Pakistan has started working on its first indigenous anti-stealth passive radar. What does this mean for our air defense, and how will it strengthen Pakistan's security? Let's dive into the details. Recently, the Pakistan Air Force and ISBR released an official video showcasing President Asif Ali Zardari's visit to the National Aerospace Science and Technology Park, NASTP. A key slide was displayed during this visit, highlighting critical projects under development. Among them, the most significant was the announcement of Pakistan's first ever passive radar system. Now, what exactly is a passive radar? and how does it differ from an active radar? Let's understand the technology behind it. Active radars emit high-frequency radio waves that bounce off objects and return to the radar, allowing it to detect aircraft and their movement. On the other hand, passive radars do not emit any waves of their own. Instead, they rely on signals from external sources, such as radio or broadcasting waves. These signals reflect off enemy aircraft, and the passive radar picks them up, making detection possible without revealing its position. This provides a major strategic advantage. Active radars can be tracked by enemy forces and targeted with anti-radiation missiles. But passive radars, they remain completely hidden. This makes them highly effective in modern warfare, where stealth technology plays a crucial role the key advantages of passive radar are undetectable by enemy radars, resistant to electronic jamming, more cost-effective than active radars. Pakistan's passive radar system is expected to be a medium to long-range detection system. It will play a key role in Pakistan's joint battle theater and will likely be integrated into the country's indigenous air defense network. While passive radars have several advantages, they also have some limitations. Their detection range is usually shorter than active radars. For example, Pakistan's A350S radar has a range of 350 to 400 kilometers, whereas the new passive radar may have a range of 200 to 250 kilometers. Additionally, Passive radars depend on external sources for signal reflections, which can make them less effective if these sources are disrupted. Weather conditions can also impact their accuracy. However, their stealth and resistance to jamming make them a valuable addition to Pakistan's air defense strategy. Pakistan's journey in radar technology has been remarkable. Until a few years ago, we relied on foreign radar systems, but since 2023, over 50% of radars used by the Army, Air Force, and Navy are now maintained and overhauled domestically. This expertise has paved the way for indigenous radar development. If this project is completed, Pakistan will achieve a major milestone in defense technology. It will not only strengthen our surveillance and detection capabilities, but also enhance our ability to counter stealth aircraft and modern electronic warfare threats. That's all for today's update. What are your thoughts on this new radar system? Let us know in the comments. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive updates.